Are we glad this morning to give him glory? Hallelujah. Okay, let's pray. Father, we want to honor you this morning, O oh God. We just humble ourselves at your throne of grace, knowing that we are just dust and nothing else but dust. Father, we're here, Lord, to, to offer you praises and worship and sacrifice of glory. For you alone are worthy to be praised and honored. And God, we commit ourselves, our families, everyone here in this place, O oh Lord, into your hands, O oh God. And Father, let this be a day that we just look to you, gaze to you, like Mary did, Lord. Like Mary Magdalene, O oh God, who wept at your feet. The focus was only you, O oh Lord. And nothing else. Nothing else mattered. And nothing else matters when we are in your presence. Nothing else matters when we are in your presence, O oh God. And Holy Spirit of God, we pray that you take control of this time. Lead us into worship. Lead us into a time of giving glory to our God. For without you, we cannot do anything. And with you, with us, O oh Lord, we are a people of power, a people of praise, a people of thanksgiving. And God, let this show around today, Father, even as we stand in your presence and give you glory. In Jesus' name, we worship you. Amen. So Romans 12.1 says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. And this is your true and proper worship. So true and proper worship is offering yourselves as a living sacrifice to God. And church, we are here right now. And the purpose that we are here is to give glory to God. Amen? Isn't that the purpose? Right? The purpose here is for us to give to glory to God as a church, as a body of Christ, as corporate. We do glorify God. We do worship Him in our homes, in our families. But this is one time that we get to give glory to God together as a people of God, as a privileged people of God. Like the psalmist says, I was so glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord, which was talking to each other. And they were glad. So right now here, we are not individuals. Yes, we are, but we are together as one spirit, giving glory. And then when, when there is one spirit and there's unity in this place, then this place is changed because the spirit of God is present in this place. And the realm of his spirit is here. Hallelujah. And in that time, every time we lift our voices and we give glory to God, the environment will change because His presence is in this place. Amen? So to be a living sacrifice is to let go of all our desires, let go of everything that is in us right now and offer ourselves completely to Him. You know, when we, when we accept the Lord Jesus as a Lord and Savior, we are cleansed of all our trespasses and our sins. And I think Paul says, we were dead once and we are alive. And here it says, living sacrifice. In 1 Peter 2, 5, if we read, you yourself like living stones are being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God, Jesus Christ. Living sacrifice, living stones. Are we living today? Amen? We are living, right? We are not dead. Spiritually living. Amen? And as spiritually living, we need to really show we are living and give glory to Him. Hallelujah. 
so it says you yourself like living stones are being built up as a spiritual house so it's a process we are being built every day as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood church we are here as a holy priesthood that's the privilege that we have received today it's not that we are wearing robes that we can stand but then being his child we are given the privilege of being the holy priesthood and when we offer sacrifice of praise and worship to him it's acceptable to him amen hallelujah so we are in this house the house of god let's all welcome the spirit of god let's all welcome our lord jesus in this place he is here in our midst as the word says but from our hearts let's welcome him here so that we can give him glory and praise shall we all stand up to give him glory the psalmist says one thing have i asked of the lord that i will seek after that i may dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the lord and to inquire of his temple one thing have i asked of the lord there's only one thing that i have asked of the lord is to dwell in his house that passion and the desire is something that i need to have we all need to have that that passion to dwell in the house of the lord and to gaze upon the beauty of the lord and if we are able today to gaze upon that beauty of god then we are able to worship him amen let's give him glory
We welcome you. This is your house. This is your. Let's sing it out. Your home. We welcome you. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house. In your home. We welcome you. This is your house. This is your house. In your house. This is your house and your home. We welcome you today. And as we pray, oh Lord, draw near. It's your voice. We long to. This is your house and your home. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you. This is your house and your home. We welcome you today. This is your house. This is your. Let's welcome in church. Your home. We welcome you. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house and your home. We welcome you today. Lord, we welcome you today. Yes, we welcome you today. Lord, we welcome you today. Yes, we welcome you today. Let's worship him, church. If you really want to welcome him, it's time to worship him. You know, I just want to tell you something. You know, this music that we have is just music. It cannot do anything. It's music. But the Lord wants to hear us worship Him through our mouths and words. Amen? You know, music can give us emotion, music can give us the timing, music can give us everything to worship Him. But then everything is secondary. But it's our words that we speak and that we utter. The word that we speak and we utter is powerful. Hallelujah. You mean we speak the word and utter it to the Lord, it's powerful. Hallelujah. So church, it's the time that we have to worship Him. You know, everything aside, if we can just worship Him with our words, we will sing, thank you, Lord. And worship Hallelujah. So let's worship Him. Let's not look aside, you know. Let's let's just lift our voice. Let this be a day that we worship Him.
our hearts and as we offer up our hearts and lives your house oh this is your house and your home we welcome you lord we welcome you this is your house and your home we welcome you today let's welcome him church and we welcome you today Lord, we welcome you today. Lord, we welcome you today. Let's welcome him with the worship. Let's welcome him with the praises. Father, we welcome you here, oh God. We worship and praise your name, oh Father. We, Jesus, we bless your name, oh God. We give you glory, glory, glory and honor, oh Father, for who you are, oh Lord. Who you are, oh Father God. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. Lord, we worship you, Lord, for you are our strength. Oh, we worship you, Father. We bless your name, bless your name, bless your name, oh God. Jesus, we worship you, Father. He's a good God. Hallelujah. Amen. And his mercy endureth forever and ever. You know, church, when we are down and out, when we are in a situation, we are in challenges, what is it that we should do? One thing that we should do is praise Him. You know, when they were supposed to fight, the Israelites were supposed to fight against the Benjamites. And he asked, what should we do? And the Father, the Lord said, send Judah at the forefront. And what is Judah? Judah is praise. Church, when we step into Christendom when we step into the kingdom of God we are in battle we have registered ourselves as soldiers and we are in battle and as battle and as soldiers the only thing that we need to do is praise him hallelujah you know are we soldiers yeah amen and the only thing that we need to do is praise him amen amen so it is who he is he is a good God and his attributes is goodness. He's a source of goodness. Amen. Let's give him glory. Every nation and tongue 
From generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. We worship you. Worship Him, church, and give Him glory for He is good and His mercy endureth forever and ever and ever. We worship You, Father. You are good all the time, all the time. You are good, but You are good all the time, all the time. You are good, but You are good all the time, all the time. You are good, you are good, you are good all the time, all the time, you are good. People from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you, who you are. And your love endure it, your mercy endure it, your kindness endure it forever. Father, we worship you, Jesus. Bless your name, Father. Lord, we worship you, Jesus. We worship you, God. We worship you, Father. Father, we're here in your presence, O oh Lord. And our purpose, O oh God, is to give you glory and praise and honor. We acknowledge this day that you are sovereign. There's no one like you. And there was no one who can be like you, O oh God. the creator of the universe we just want to acknowledge that you are love we thank you for your love Lord father we want to just worship and praise you for Lord what you have done for me and for us oh God you know we see in the past week that you've been with us. Your healing touch has been upon our lives, Lord. Where else can we go but to you, Father? For you have the words of eternity, Lord. There's nowhere else that we can go, Lord. And Father, we are here in this place just to worship you and thank you for your salvation thank you for your unending grace thank you for all that you've done for us lord we give you glory thank you for your kindness thank you for your mercy Thank you for the cross, 
Thank you for the price you pay. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for an ending grace. That's right. Thank you for the hope. Oh, thank you for this life you gave. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your kindness. Church, let's look to the Lord. Let's look to the Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for the cross. Well, thank you for the price you pay. Thank you for salvation. Oh yes, we're glad. Thank you for an ending grace. Thank you for the hope. Thank you for this life you give. There is no one like you. There is no one like you, God. All my hope is in you. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you for your promise. Oh, let's count them. Thank you for your favor, Jesus Lord. Thank you for your love. And everything you've done for me. Thank you for your promise once again. Thank you for your promise. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your love. Everything you've done for me. There is no one like you. There is no one like you, God. All my hope is in you, Jesus, 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 Jesus. There is no one like you, God. There is no one like you, God. All my hope is in you, Jesus. Jesus. There is no one. There is 
no one like you. There is no one like you, God. All my hope is in you. Jesus, 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 to your name we give all the glory, to your name we give all the praise, your love I got Father, we worship you, Jesus. Just let's lift our voices and worship him. Is there anything stopping us from giving him glory? We just said that there's no one like you. We just sang that there's no one like you. Can we just say that there is no one like you right now? Can we just speak out with our words saying, Lord, there is no one like you. It just takes our lips to worship him. We can just say this, Lord, there's no one like you. Just say that, Lord, you are good. You are kind. Lord, you are faithful. And that's what he wants to hear from us. Because he has created us for his glory. He has created us so that we can worship him. Hallelujah. Let's worship him, Father. Let's worship him, church. We worship you, Lord. We give you glory and honor. We thank you for your promises, O Lord, which are yes and amen, Lord. We thank you for your favor in our life, Lord. We thank you for the jobs that we have today. We thank you, Lord, for the health that we have today, Father. We thank you for the family that we have today, O Lord. We thank you for everything that we have this day, O Lord, that we can give you glory and honor. We thank you for your word, O God, that stands with us, O Father God, that we can speak out, Lord, even as we go through trials, we go out to temptations, Lord. Because you spoke the word, oh God, when you were tempted, oh Lord. Oh, Father, we thank you. God, help us, Lord, to understand you more and more. Lord, to be of you more and more, oh God, as you say, Lord Jesus. We want to worship you. We want to praise you and worship you, Father. We want to give you glory and honor and praise, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we worship you. Amen. Amen and amen.